'twas the night before cold start, and all through the streets the temperature dipped down to make you feel some beats. And talk about cold, guys. We're going to have a new series here about the Toyota Tundra, but because winter has finally come and has come with a vengeance, I decided why not do a cold start. I've done two cold starts in my YouTube uh, channels and uh, they had to center on my two new vehicles. The first cold start I ever did was featuring my 2015 Mitsubishi Mirage and that was a 1.2 liter three cylinder five speed manual transmission equipped um, vehicle and uh, I had it colder, I was living up in Yellowknife, which is the extreme arctic, and I had it starting, I think it was in the uh, minus 36, minus 37. I'll go in and throw the video link here in the description. And it wasn't plugged in, it was about maybe a good overnight anyway, that, since I drove it. So it was down for a whole day, and then I did a cold start in the morning, which started just fine, no problem, not plugged in, everything worked fine. Second cold start would have been my coldest one which when I was living down in Edmonton, just outside Edmonton, in my little town of Bruderheim, that was with my 2018 Chevrolet Spark. And that guy there was in the midst of a minus 43 cold start, and it also wasn't plugged in, and it was sitting overnight, yada, yada, yada. Again, I'll throw that video in the description here, and you can see uh, it, no problem. So those are my vehicles that I did cold start with. I don't remember doing a Tacoma cold start. I'll have to look at it. But anyway, those two kind of got some wings, went kind of viral, and they went and had some good uh, reviews. So I've got the 2023 Toyota Tundra with the 3.5 twin turbo V6. Uh, in Canada here, we do equip it with a block heater. Uh, cord outlet which I will show you so I'm gonna do this in two part series I'm gonna do tonight which is supposed to get basically the coldest and uh, it's gonna go down to minus 30 through 6 I think well guys sorry about that the tripod doesn't work really well on the windows so she came down as I was talking to you so where I left off is um, I basically am going to do the Toyota Tundra cold start with the 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. Uh, it just has about 2,500 kilometers right now on it. I'm not sure, not in miles. You have to divide that by 1.6 and that'll give you how many miles I have on the Tundra. So it's a couple months old. I do have an issue with it though. I will film that in a separate video. It's a minor one, but it's something that uh, I do want to address through my ownership. So that's coming out. Uh, you'll see that uh, in the next in the next couple episode I'm also going to do a tire review for the winter tires that I have on which are continental uh, Viking contact sevens really good reviews going to be coming out with those so I'll show them in action and everything and uh, give you guys my feedback on some of this stuff so if you're looking for some Toyota Tundra content uh, reviews uh, ownership experience and we're going to put this guy into through the test well you come to the right channel so we're going to do the cold start not plugged in tonight uh, right now it is on my old outside temperature is minus 30. I think that's like minus 24, minus 27 Fahrenheit. I'm Canadian, so I'm in Celsius, guys. So I just had to do a quick conversion. But anyway, it's minus 30. It's, it's classified as extreme cold weather. You're, you freeze out here. This is what people uh, experience when they experience a bite. It feels like somebody's slapping your face constantly when you're outside, so you have to dress for the occasion. So we're gonna put this to the test. Can this perform uh, like my Chevy Spark and like my Mitsubishi Mirage? I mean, it's triple the price, so in theory it should have, um, it should have a easy time starting. It's got way more tech and everything, but at the end of the day, it is cold. It is a new platform vehicle. And um, yeah, so I'm just out driving right now. I got a couple errands to run. I'm gonna park it in the driveway. Again, I'm not parking it in the garage tonight. I do have a heated garage that I normally park it into. And I'm gonna leave it outside all night. And about 9 a.m. tomorrow, I will be going out and showing you the cold start review. Well guys, made it home. It is nice and cold out here. It's nice and dark. The time right now is about 8.37, so it should be sitting for a solid 12 hours overnight. And it's going to be, like I said, in the minus 30s, hopefully almost minus 40 Celsius. I think that'll be like around 26 below Fahrenheit. 
Anyways, uh, let's see. As you can tell, I'm almost full tank. Uh, the odometer right now in the top corner there, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. It shows that it's about a minus 30 Celsius right now at the time of parking it. So I'm shutting her down for the night. Alarm's going to be on tomorrow around 9 a.m., which is supposed to be the coldest temperature uh, recording in that zone. I will be setting up the tripod and we'll be doing a cold start with no block heater cord plugged in and see how she does. So guys, have a good night and we'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning, everybody. It's time for the cold start. Truck's been sitting outside for about 12 hours. Uh, current conditions are around minus 37, minus 34 degrees Fahrenheit. So she is in the deep, deep freeze. Uh, so we're going to go set up some cameras. We're going to open the hood, show you from a point of view uh, for the truck. Hopefully it starts. So anyway, guys, let's turn around, take a look at what we got. So as you can tell, it's been sitting outside for about... Uh, four hour or it's, it's been sitting outside for no 12 hours now and uh the temperature here i'll go show you minus 34 degrees fahrenheit with a minus 38 degree wind chill and then in celsius it's minus 37 degrees celsius with a minus 39 wind chill uh might get a couple degrees colder but uh overall um this is about as good as it's gonna get for this video the Mirage was, I think, around the same temperature. I'll have to check. And the Chevy Spark was, I believe, minus 43 when I did that one. So not quite as cold, but still, we are in that Arctic chill. So we're going to go set up some cameras and see how she does with an extreme cold weather start. Alrighty guys, so started pretty good, but it is frozen. Everything is hard as a rock. The seats definitely a lot harder. Um, now there's a couple things that are not working. Uh, the forward collision camera is off, front camera out of uh, temperature range. And hold on, let me, okay, vehicle. And we have a display that's really changing. Feel call to mic turn off the park for one hour running. Hood is open. And again, we're noticing some uh, lights on. But as it's warming up, the electronics are getting normal. So that's basically it. Well, guys, that's basically it. That's the cold start for the 2023 Toyota Tundra SR. Uh, so, yeah, it's, uh, it worked well started up no problem and uh yeah can't wait uh, for tomorrow's episode we are going to do the same thing it's going to be approximately the same temperature maybe a little bit warmer but on that episode we are going to be plugging it in and using the block heater cord seeing how much of a difference an engine warmer does make and it will definitely make a difference and i'll go talk to you on why that is so anyway guys hope you enjoyed the minus 37 cold start i'm gonna let it warm up and then take it out for a little bit of a ride to get the uh, temperature up and uh yeah we'll catch you on the next episode of cordetti motorsports hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks and we'll catch you soon